Sometimes when life has you down or you're in a position where it just doesn't seem to be the greatest, sometimes you just need a fresh start. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Maple Brewski, from the Rooski Brewski Review. And today the beer that I have for you guys is by the Mc McKellar, McKellar Brewery out in Copenhagen, but brewed here in Canada by Brunswick Beer Works, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, brewed by McKellar at Brunswick Beer Works in, oh, sorry, Toronto, Ontario. Yep, 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 here you go, fresh start. Fresh start, New England style IPA, if I'm not mistaken. E where'd it go? Yep, New England style India Pale Ale with BRU-1 and Simcoe hops. Coming in at 6.4% alcohols by volume. No listed IBUs on the very green stickered can. Boom. There you go. You got a guy sort of seems to be pushing a hop into um, into in, into a pot, which is kind of cool. But yeah, that's what we got. IBUs, nothing on the website. We'll get to that in a minute. And on Untapped, no IBUs either. So, so without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. Pointing into my new Collective Arts little little little, cool, little cup glass, which is kind of cool. I actually got two of them. I used the green one the other day, and today we're using the pink one. So let's pour it up. Let's see what we got. Always love me a New England. Especially if it's a beer from uh, Copenhagen, which I'm guessing is Denmark, right? Denmark, Copenhagen, that makes sense because everything on the website is in DKK. So we'll go with uh, we'll go with that, right? Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Looking at the beer itself, beautiful. Yeah, yellowy, orangey, hazy, haziness, hazy, crazy beer. Nice bit of off-white head on top, looking fan freaking fantastic. Looking like a solid New England IPA for sure. Let's dive in on the nose. <clears throat> on the nose here, hmm, what is that? It's, it has a very, very faint aroma. Then again, this is a very wide mouth glass. Yeah, pineapples, yeah. Mangoes, typical uh, grapefruit and pine. Let's give it a whirl. Let's see if that opens it up. A little dank. A little paint thinner as well. Or maybe that's just that's just what for a second. No, no paint thinner. Yeah, tropically mangoes, pineapples, uh, grapefruit, pine, orange, citrus going on as well. I don't, I'm not a big fan of these glasses actually. It's a bit too wide of a mouth. Well, that's fine. We'll dive right in. Oh, on the taste, on the taste. Okay, where do we begin? Whoa, that was delicious, that was fruity. Where do we begin? Hmm, nice finish. Um, actually kind of need another sip right now. That, that sort of, that, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. That's pretty damn good. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Okay, where do we start? Grapefruit, pine, a little bit of pear. A little bit of mango, pineapple. Some light pineapple notes, orange citrus, pear. I thought I got peach on that first sip. I could be wrong though. I'm not too, too sure. Pear. Apple, not green apple, not 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 that, but apple, peach. I don't know. I don't know about that peach. I I thought I, I thought I got it, but maybe not. Yeah. Mm, very minimal. Very minimal on the peachy side, or maybe more of like an apricot. We can just call it all stone fruit in a sense. A little bit of stone fruitiness going on as well. Plum. A little bit of a plum as well. Pretty damn good, very diverse uh, flavor profile through this beer right here. Let's see what the can has to say. 
Fresh Start by McKellar, Copenhagen, brewed by McKellar at Brunswick Brew Beer Works, Toronto, Ontario. Enjoy. 6.4% alcohol by volume, no listed IBUs. Uh, New England style India Pale Ale with BRU-1 and Simcoe Hops. Now we've all heard and drank Simcoe Hops before, but BRU-1, I have no idea what that is, it's pretty damn cool. On the side here, uh, production date, see bottom of can, contains barley, wheat, and oats. That's all you really have. No real other information, no description, no IBUs, no dedicated ingredients list, but you get a breakdown of what two hops that are used, and then uh, the barley, wheat, and oats just makes sense. Uh, you can obviously guess there's yeast in here, and uh, probably some other some other sort of malty stuff and things. But yeah, pretty damn cool. On the bottom though, for that brewed on date, we got the 11th of June 2020. So it's good, even though there's a big lack of information, there is still a date code clearly legible on the bottom here. Moving over to the website, um, which doesn't really give you a lot, funny enough. The Brunswick Beer Works has nothing there. Um, I, actually, I actually had to go to the shopmckeller.dk website to find out about the beers. And they have a lot, but I just went to all products and I put in Fresh Start. And I didn't find anything. Nothing came up for me. This beer does not seem to exist on the website at all. Uh, even when I put in Fresh Start McKellar uh, on in Google, on Google, on the Google, still can't find anything. So I have no idea. That's why we're going to move over to Untapped because maybe there's nothing there either. It's smooth, it's medium bodied, not aggressively hoppy either, which is nice. But yeah, even Untapped has nothing to say about this beer. There's no description, there's just the ABV and the rating, and that's pretty much it. So this is a very unknown beer to me, to, I guess to most people that pick it up, they just see it, they buy it, and that's all you're kind of left with. So, mystery beer indeed. Uh, but yes, on Untapped, Fresh Start by McKellar has been given a 3.77 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of 372 ratings. So very, very mysterious. For the price though, you're paying 4.25 for the 473 ml can. One, I gotta say, that's, that's definitely a higher price, but then again, it is a beer from a Copenhagen brewery brewed here in, in Canada. And that's New England. New England's are usually a little bit higher in price, but it's just um, there's so much mystery behind this beer because there's like there's no information anywhere to find out about it. So some people might be like, it's kind of a gamble on this one because I don't know. I don't know if it's good or not. I don't know what it's about, all that stuff and things. So it's a bit of a gamble beer as well. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you see it in your local LCBO, I'd say pick it up for $4.25 to try something like this. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. No offensive flavors. It's smooth. You're crisp. Not heavy, but not light of a body. Just a beautiful New England sort of IPA embodiment of a body. It's damn good and it's damn delicious for sure. I can I can definitely get behind paying 425 for it. I just wish there was a lot more information on this. You get really nothing. You get a little bit here and there, but not much. Especially not being able to find some sort of existence of it on the McKellar website or Brunswick Beer Works. I mean, you're kind of just uh, left up in the air with uh, what's going on with this brew. And you're, you're, you're just, yeah, that's, that's kind of what's going on. You're just not too, too sure what's going on. But, oh well. Cheers and the final sip, guys. Let's get retrains and wrap this thing up. McKellar, Copenhagen, Fresh Start, Brunswick Beer Works. 
delicious, delicious New England style IPA. It's got a nice, very diverse range of flavors. Mangoes, pineapples, pine, grapefruit, a little bit of oranginess going on, and then even picking up notes of pear, apple, and a little bit of stone fruit going on, and maybe even some plums, dare I say. Not too, too bad. Goes down absolutely smooth. 6.4 ABV, great rate. J just, just that little bit of oomph to your day. I really do appreciate that. Overall, fresh start gets a solid, mm, gets a solid 8.1 out of 10 for me. Now, as for presentation, it is a very basic looking can design. There's a one sticker. You get, you get, you get some information. You like a, like a semi-detailed list of hops. You get uh, somewhat of an ingredients list, and you get a clearly labeled canned on date and the ABV as well. But as far as website goes or description of the beer or really any notoriety that this beer exists other than untapped in LCBO that I found, there's not much. There's like zero. So presentation can only get like a 3 out of 10 for me because I have no idea anything about this beer other than that I'm enjoying it quite a bit. And it's 6.4% and a couple hops have been used in here. So that's, that's kind of where I'm at. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Maybrewski, that'd be great. Well, and with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Maybrewski. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Mystery beer, mystery beer. Oh, come here and get in my belly, please. Please, will you get in my belly? I'd appreciate that. Cheers.